Okay, this is great. There was actually a 140 terror bird just over there. Now, I wanted to test out the taming pen, so why not break it in? Yo, what is up, everyone? Hope all is going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now today, what we're going to be doing is continuing off here on the official server, and as you can see, I'm a little way down. It's really funny. I don't know how I'm able to walk in slow motion just because I'm heavy, but it works. Um, but anyway, what we're going to be doing is we've got to fortify this upper area. Now, that hatch frame is kind of a weak point. I know a few people pointed it out in the last few videos, but, you know, I'm just working on getting these resources, guys. I can only build things so fast, but, but you know, I'm trying to fortify as quickly as possible. Now, anyway... I'm going to build a doorway and kind of a wall around this area just so that they can't just blow through the greenhouse glass and then into this trap door. Uh, I'm not sure if they would do that, but I mean, this will just fortify it just a little bit more. At least give it one more way to be broken into. Now, anyway, this door is going to be put there. I'm going to put a wall around that. I'm going to have to build those up quick. Or I should have a decent amount. Actually, I think I had some ceilings. But anyway, after that, we're going to head out. We got to... We actually have to build a raft because we had a raft for the first few episodes, but it got destroyed by, like, three Sarkos, and I, w I never built a new one because the swamp kind of sucks. So we're going to put one on the other side of the Redwoods so that we can use it for both the Tundra and kind of the, I don't know, other redwood areas as well now i don't want to put it in the swamp just because it'll get destroyed at some point now anyway in the last video we tamed up this guy he's getting pretty strong i actually leveled leveled him up quite a bit he's at 164 now um I'm, i mean i think i'm gonna get his health to like 10k and then start pumping it into melee damage probably i don't really need weight or anything on him now what we have to do is kind of just start <laughs> building up that area I feel like everything is just like a constant like fortification. It's never it never gets good enough, guys. The base can never be, you know, built up enough. And I'm far way away from getting this place in a in a way that it won't be raided very easily. Now, let's see here. I'm going to grab the arrows and stuff too because if we're, you know, if we're over there building the raft and we see something interesting we want to tame, it is going to be a taming raft, so we could always put it to use and I could do a little fishing. But I'm going to start building up some resources and let's get this going. Okay, so, metal's pretty much cooked up, or a lot of it is at least, so I can start throwing some of these walls up here. Like I said, just trying to fortify this area because the greenhouse makes it vulnerable, but I really like having the greenhouse because I use the stuff, or like all these vegetables for so, much, so many recipes, and it's like, the greenhouse effect really makes a difference. Like you get a lot more vegetables for that, so I'm going to try and leave it up as, as long as possible until it starts causing us an issue. So this should do here. So at least that's guarding the hatch frame because the ceilings have quite a bit of health. It's the hatch frame that I didn't want someone blowing through. So we also have to kind of upgrade this area as well. So yeah, the trap door has 6,250 health as well as the doors, so at least I'll have to blow through two of them to get into the crafting room, unless I go right through a ceiling which has, you know, 10,000 HP, which is quite a bit more. Now, let's see here, let's upgrade this lot of walls, that's all I had. Can we get down? Okay, there we go. Now, let's see here, I got one. <laughs> what do we need, is venting paste? Oh, no, I don't want to take it out of there, put it back in. Now, I've been, I'm going to try and stock up on all the blueprints for all the metal pieces, so next time I mind wipe, I don't have to, like, relearn them. So, I've, I'm going to be stashing them in the smithy here. I've got the wall so far. I usually find a lot of the, the metal blueprints around, so it shouldn't be too hard to stock up on them. Okay, let's put these over here. Get rid of this stone. I guess it really doesn't matter, because if someone was going to blow in here, they'd just blow off that greenhouse glass. It's got, like, 200 health. Nope. Whoop. Can we put it here? There we go. Alright, this is a nice little spot. Now we've got like a little storage bin out in the corner. Okay, I think we're good. Now, I don't want to focus too much on this. We're going to go out. We're going to get this raft built up as well. So, let's see here. Let's see if I can find some supplies to start building with. <laughs> Okay, so I've built up a decent amount of stuff here to at least get the build started. Now, the RG isn't going to be able to hold that much, so I'm actually not going to bring that raft. I, d I just remembered we built a raft for the fishing 
episode. So if that's still sitting over there, we can still just use that raft. They usually don't get attacked very much. That it didn't have anything on it. It only had a chair. So I think it'll be all right. So let's load all this into him. He's actually got like 800 something weight. So this is actually pretty decent weight, RG, so far. Once it gets to like 1K, I'll be really happy about it. So I'm going to take this thing out and let's get started on this raft build. Okay, so the raft is there. It's pretty fortunate that it's actually still over here. That was like maybe a week ago that we built it. So let's see here. I want to see what this has got. Ramshackle turtle. Okay, that's cool. And chitin. Probably never use that, but I mean, I could probably use the turtle saddle. We could, we need to tame up some turtles. I don't ever, I don't ever see them in like the redwoods or anything. So I don't know when I'm ever gonna find one. But anyway, let's get this thing over here. I'm going to get the torch out. Sorry, it's really dark. It's going to be dark for a second. I'll get a torch going. Can I ride you, please? Okay. Sorry, I was really struggling there. Okay, where's this raft at? Right here? Is this my raft? It conveniently says raft above it, so... <laughs> it's, not, it's a good way to pick yours out because every, everyone's got like a blank raft over here for some reason Maybe they are all using it for fishing as well. But anyway, let's see here What we want to start with is our foundations now. This is the most annoying part. Oh Let me try and get this Dang it <laughs> the foundations are in the freaking bird come on over here Please okay stop right there perfect just hover directly above me that's perfect okay so first we start with the foundations and this is probably like the most annoying part because we want to get these lined up three across so that we have full space on this so I need to get this right on the corner okay come on you can do it right there okay that looks like a good one now you'll know you got it right if you can spread three of them across. Is this chair in the way? Oh, you can pick it up. You don't have to demolish it. That's cool. Let's see here. Nope. See, we did not place it correctly. This is this is really annoying me. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to float a little bit further out in the water. Okay. So, anyway, because we can't fit it here, we know that this isn't gonna work. It needs to be able to snap. If it doesn't snap, it's not lined up. So, let's see here. Let's try this again. How long have I been starving for? Dang it. Okay. There. That looks good. There we go. Oh, see when it snaps? We should be set. Now, we just have to hope that it snaps across. See, it's a little bit at an angle, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. Okay, it's good there. If it, oh shoot, we lost, really? Really? Okay, well, perfect timing. Let me build up a few more foundations. Unfortunately, I had, had to destroy those three, so <laughs> we don't have enough anymore. Can I fit the, oh, now you're in the way. Really? Get out of here. Float, or not float, fly. Or I guess we'll just set it there, I suppose. These salmon look really cool, actually, <laughs> by torchlight. We need to get rid of the sail. Alright, so, as long as this lines up, we should be set. I need to be able to make one more. I am definitely going to need so many more resources than I thought. Oh my god, this is going to take a lot. Because I want to make a big raft. That's okay, we'll do it. That's why we brought the tools along. So anyway, let's start placing these as well. Now we can go two out from the foundations to start with. And I want to actually extend that a bit. But first, this, this sail's got to go. Where's it at? Okay. Hide sail. Cool. Got rid of that crap. Now, oh, are you in the way? Can I move you? S just like sit here. Why are you such an inconvenience? Jeez. So, what, did I already go out one ceiling? Okay, so I should be able to go out another one here. And we can't go out a third. 
that's weird. That one said that it was too far away from the platform. Now, I do know a trick to actually extend this out. I'm going to want to extend it out a little bit. I'm not, no, I don't know if I'm going to actually use it for the whole build, but I definitely want to ex extend it out just a little bit. So, I'm going to gather some more resources, which I'm definitely going to need, and we'll be right back in the daylight. Okay, so I've gathered a bunch of stuff up. I just built up some thatch ceilings so that we can actually take care of this. So if you lay the ceilings across the pillars like that, I'll kind of show you. So you can't place a foundation there, as you can see, because there's no, you know, platform to put it on. Now, if you've done this, you can actually place a platform, or not a platform, but a, a foundation. That's what I'm looking for. Anyway... I'm just going to go right to stone, actually. I was going to do that. I don't know why I was thinking to do thatch. I'm definitely going to go straight to stone. So we should be able to place this right here. Okay. We can do this. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> that took... Yeah, I'm going to be honest. That took longer than I expected. I think it was just... I don't know. I don't know what it was. For some reason, it just did not want to snap. But it did. Anyway, the other I'll show you the other side will be a lot easier. Now, I, evidently I gotta just use the bird to get up here because it's right directly in the freaking way. So we've got our thatch ceilings here that we can remove, and I'm gonna throw this on the other side. I'll kind of show you why <laughs> the whole point behind doing this. Let me remove these pillars, I'm not letting any of these resources go to waste. Now, we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side, but as you can see, there's a foundation here now. And because of that, we can actually place, let's see, grab our ceilings. We can actually place another ceiling out here that we couldn't before. So we can actually extend out our raft even further than before. Now, let's see here. I'm going to do this with this side. I'll show you what's up with this. Now, do I have pillars? Okay, right here. Sorry, my inventory is a absolute mess. So don't even look at it. Okay, there we go. And we'll throw ceilings across. Do I have resources? Okay, those aren't too bad. I like building with thatch. That's a lot easier. Okay, so we'll toss these up. Okay, cool. And we should just be able to place the pillar here. Oh my god, it's... Sorry. <laughs> it, like... I must have been, like, a world save or something. It was frozen for a second. But now that we've put that pillar there... We will definitely be able to throw a foundation right on this. Oh, crap. If only I had a foundation. Okay. Got our got our foundations. Crap. What? Was it really? Dang it. They must have spawned in now that I went and gathered resources. Crap. I thought I had all of them killed over here. Anyway, we can put our foundation right... Well, we can put that one right away. But this one should go right here. Oh my gosh, see, this, this side was way easier than the other side. The other one took me forever. Okay, let's. we should be able to put one here too. Oh, is that going to not click? See, it wants to go, but, but then again, it doesn't. We'll just leave it. We don't really need one right there, to be honest. Because if we've got... Yeah, that's annoying. Okay, screw it. <laughs> we lost our only foundation anyway. So we'll just put it on those sides so I, I can extend it out anyway. It's not going to be a big deal. So, let me remove these ceilings as well, but now... Oh, what? Oh, no. Crap. Those foundations might have been at just a little bit of an angle where this is now too far away, but that isn't... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, we'll work with this. That's all right. Usually, this doesn't happen. This actually never happened before. Usually, I can extend it out all the way, but I guess... Because of my foundation placement, it was just a little bit too far forward. So I'm just going to actually destroy this one. And we'll leave just the foundation on the other side. And we'll kind of shape it around that. So I'm going to build up another one of these. Just to put next to this other one. We'll do that. Since we can't place one over there anyway, we'll just, you know, put both of these together. Now let me destroy this crap. There. Okay. So we just can't put one there. We'll kind of use this as, like, the extended taming pen. I've got an idea, but, I mean, obviously... <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Just gotta destroy all this stuff. Okay, so we don't need any of that anymore. Now we can start placing some of this stuff. I think maybe... I'm trying to think of how I'm going to lay this out. 
First, let me get rid of some of this. I'm going to clear this out just a little bit. This inventory is really bugging me. I actually have to use the search function in my own inventory, which is not good. Okay, let me toss all this in here. Just to, just to unclutter myself. I broke a lot of my armor there. Okay, so we'll throw these all in the inventory. Where should we put the door? I'm thinking... We're going to put two of them up right there. Yeah, we'll, we'll use this as the entrance. Off to the other side of it will be the taming pen. This will be the back entrance. Just put these walls up here quick. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this and I'll bring it back in a sec. Okay, just been continuing along with this. We're only going one high because we got to conserve space. We can't be going too high on a raft. Now I'll put that one right there and then here. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this will work. Let's park this thing. This is serious. This bird is like constantly in the way. Every place I park it is the next place I build on, I think. So we'll put these here and that will be the entrance. Okay, cool. I think we might actually want to throw window walls on the taming pen area but we'll replace those in a sec i also build up a little storage box we can't fit a big storage box in here sadly okay we've got enough for one door and one ladder okay so we need both of these so that we can access the top of it so we don't have enough for a hatch frame okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just keep gathering resources i also brought sap because i thought i was gonna get some fishing done but i don't i don't know if i'm gonna be able to fit that in and I haven't seen money coal around here either. I should have brought leech blood. There's like saber tooth salmon everywhere. Okay, so throw a campfire. A little, little fire and storage. Oh, and of course a bed. Where should we put this? Right here? That looks like a good spot. Okay, so all this is down. I'm going to continue gathering up a few more resources. And we'll keep building. Okay, so now it might be a little bit easier to understand what I'm talking about with the taming pen on here. So we've got that entrance off to the right. Now right here we're going to build... Really? Not right there. That is not the right spot. Move you. Okay. It's, it's, it's starting to get dark again, dang it. Okay, we'll just take all this stuff. I hope I can walk. Okay, I'm just weighed down. It's all good. Don't follow me. All right. Anyway. Uh, what? How is that too far? Oh, that doesn't make any sense. That's okay. We'll just shorten this up. Uh-oh. Screw the wall. I'm too heavy. I don't, I don't need the resources. Okay. So, we'll build this up. All right. We're getting a little less heavy. We can start moving now. <laughs> I accidentally built both a wood and thatch wall. When trying to build a stone one. Oh my god. Really? We can do this. Okay, I'll place these first. I'm gonna replace those other ones with window walls though. So that we can actually just shoot through those. So here we'll place regular walls. Hope you guys like torchlight. It's our only option at the moment. Okay. I hope that's right. Okay, placed right. Let's hope we can do that with the other one, too. Oh, there's someone over there. Oh, there's so there's actually someone's base over there. I was talking to him earlier, so I think we should be all right. All right, so we've got windows there so that we can actually shoot our tame. I'm going to have to get the bird because we're going to need even more resources now as well. Can I build any? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm not going to. Okay. All right, I made it. Yeah, we're doing all right. We just need ceilings, a few more what, ramps, probably. Oh, I've got a few ramps. I think we should be okay. But we do have two ceilings for this. Sweet. Okay, we've covered up that. Now we just need ramps leading up to this. Should we put them here? Nah. I was thinking about putting them on the outside to lead them in, but honestly, this is going to be a taming pen that I'll just be able to carry stuff with the Argent into. So we'll just, you know, we'll use it for dire, or, or sorry, dire wolves. 
and maybe like terror birds stuff like that so oh shoot i built doors I, I brought them i didn't have to build any of them dang it okay so i think the raft should definitely be all set so i just need to throw i wanted to throw a few more ramps onto the back so that we can actually access it with the dinosaur if we want to so back here we could actually bring something up if we wanted to or if we just tamed it and wanted to like store it on the back while we were driving back we'll definitely have to put this thing to use because i definitely want to go out into the tundra and we have to get a mammoth at some point because i've been building up raptor kibble and those are really good for gathering wood so i'm pretty excited about that now i put ceilings there i'm not sure if i like them though on top of the taming pen. I don't think that's going to be useful. Because I definitely want to be able to drop things in. So I think I'm actually going to take those off. Oh. No. Wait. I should probably remove this one first. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't like those. Now. What do we want to tame? We have to test it out. I mean. We've got to see if it is. You know. What it said. Or what I say it is. And that is a taming boat. So. We need to test it out and make sure that it actually works when we get around here. Okay, this is great. There was actually a 140 terror bird just over there. Now, I wanted to test out the taming pen, so why not break it in with a 140? I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I mean, maybe we can use it for breeding or something along the way. Now, <laughs> it's, just, it's just nice to have high levels, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's tape, knock this guy out. We dropped it in our pen, and we just have to go down here. And we can just shoot it from here. So I'm just going to knock this thing out. I'm not going to go through the whole process. It shouldn't be that difficult. And we'll be back. Oh, finally. No, did you just... Really? The one place. The one place we don't want you to fall. You, you fell. Cool. Now this is going to be a hassle. I'm not going to be able to use this door to go in and out. <laughs> Crap. I'm going to have to jump in from those... Like the ramp above. Because I'm, I'm not taking any chance on moving this thing. So, we're going to keep this in one place. I don't want to even move the raft because I'm scared it'll, like, fall through or something. This Gallimimus has been stuck down there for quite some time. Alright, so let's see here. I guess I'll just jump down. I hope enough for, I have enough for a ladder to build one to get out of here. Now, let's see here. Well, I guess I don't really know how good the stats are. I've never had any high-level terror birds. I guess we'll kind of see what they look like when we tame, or when he's like all finished taming up. So I'm gonna starve him down, and we'll see what he turns out to be. Okay, this terror bird should be all set. Just killing this Diplodocus, and I actually made a trip to the or back to the base on one of the times when I narked it all the way up and grab the moss chops so we've got this guy here and i'm actually just gonna gather all the prime I'm, I'm just there's no other way to do it like this is just the best way like for someone to gather a huge amount of prime with just one player and i mean let's see here park him right over the top let's whistle him to attack i hope he's close enough and we'll just gather this so we should be all set to tame this terror bird it takes gallimimus kibble and there's no way i've got that um, I guess Gallimimus sometimes gets stuck in the base, so maybe I'll just start taming those up, just to have some kibble around, but they're kind of an annoying tame. Alright, so we'll drop him. Perfect. Good shot. <laughs> okay, let's go see how much he got out of that. Oh yeah, he's good. Okay. How much did you get? 49? Oh, actually not that much. From the parasites, he was getting like 75. So that's weird. I would have thought that would have actually given more. But I think it said that the terror bird was actually going to take 45. So I think that should definitely do it. Now let's see here. Eat up. This is the, this is literally the best part. It's like you wait like an hour and a half of starving him. And you're like, okay, finally. He'll just eat and eat. Yeah, just keep going. I think I think this should do it. I think this will this will be enough, or I think he's starved down enough at least. Okay, so each food does or each uh, prime meat does fifty. So for every hundred food down, he takes you know two prime meat. Okay, so close. 
I don't think he's gonna make it. It's gonna be like right on the verge. Yup. He needs to eat one more. Well, what's the spoil timer? Oh, they're like seven minutes. Okay, this will be plenty. So I'll just, yeah. Wait for this to finish up. It's not too bad here. Maybe I should just put a few more in just to be safe. Alright, as he finished up, I brought the Moss Chops back. But check this out. Alright, what are the stats? Alright, so we're talking 1800 health, 64 stamina, almost 300 melee damage. This is, I think he'll actually be pretty good. Like, I've never had a really high level one. I usually tame low levels because their Topor is so annoying. I mean, this one took like 400 narcotics, and I thought it was going to take 800, but that was on one times rate, so that would really suck. Just, uh oh. Is that Argent in a way? Dang it. Dude, can I ride you from here? Okay, maybe. Okay, got it. Cool. <laughs> Alright, shut this hatch. I'm gonna grab the tear bird. Really? Dang it. I gotta do that again? Alright, I'm gonna grab this tear bird. Bring it back to, back to base. Get out of the way. I need to get off of you. <laughs> and, uh, but that's actually where we're gonna stop for today. We made our raft. We got a pretty awesome terror bird, hopefully. And if you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time.